What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as we hang out so it's dark now. Let me try my NVGs. See, it seems to me that the NVGs are kind of like... I don't know, they make things a little bit better, but they don't help that much. It seems like there's far too much brightness or like contrast or something going on that's like ruining it. And yeah, that big chunking right there, every time I come back to the bar... Ah, uh, well, I apologize, noble viewer. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about it for right now. The NVGs seem to kind of work. I don't know. I'd have preferred if they were a little bit more dim. I don't know why they do that flickery thing either. If you turn on a flashlight, it definitely makes it a lot worse, but... I don't know. It's weird. Maybe that's how the NVGs look in this game. I don't know if anybody else has played around with them. you have to tell me down in the comments below, because I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't even know if I'm going the right way right now. It's a little bit dark out, and I can never find my way around when I'm in the bar after dark. Like, where am I going? I'm so lost, and there's angry-looking men with facial hair and guns everywhere, and it's worrying. Seriously, why do you guys have so many guns? Is this necessary? I'm like, yes, it is totally ne- You've been out there. You were out there five minutes ago getting shot at with snorks trying to punch you in the head, and now you're back here asking me if it's necessary? I think it's very, very necessary. Let's take off the NVGs because I figure it's okay. This guy just lurking in the shadows over here. My god. Well, we gotta go back and get the SIVA suit at some point, because it's really, really good and it cancels out anomalies. But at the moment, I figured what we should probably do is we'll go back, we'll turn in our quests, we'll get rid of some of our excess weight. Once that's all been taken care of, we'll go back to Corden, and we're gonna do a secondary quest that we got when we picked up the lab. Documents, I guess? It said we needed to go meet with the guide or something? I don't know. So, marked one. You got the documents from X-16? Yep, got them right here. Well, Marked One, now we just need to deal with the Scorcher and open the way north. You ready to go now? I guess? Okay, Marked One. You've got the protective prototype, so you'll be safe from the emissions. I have the bunker coordinates. Don't forget that the prototype won't protect you forever, so you need to get to the bunker ASAP and turn off the burner. I don't know what will happen after that, but I am sure it will be worth it. The only thing we can be sure of is that the road to the zone center will be open. All you have to do is get inside the bunker below the antennas and switch them off. You in? Hell yeah, I'm in. Oh yeah, one last thing. The leader of duty, I marked him on the map. He needs a volunteer to carry out some sort of assignment at the military warehouses. If you're interested, you could drop by. I'll talk with the guards and they'll let you in. Okay, well, here's the flash drive that Professor Kruglov gave me. Good boy, I think Duty will be very, very grateful for this info. Here's your reward. Did we do anything else? I think that's pretty much the only thing that I had to do. Can you repair some of my gear? Repair my gun. Repair my armor. And then repair my secondary gun. Okay. And then we'll take a look at everything else. So that's in decent shape. That's in decent shape. We got to give the gun to the guy at the bar here. I think we picked up that shotgun right there, which was like his father's or something like that. If we can get another one of these, the monolith suits, I don't know if... Ooh, an exoskeleton? What? A military exoskeleton prototype. It's worth 200,000 rubles, unfortunately. I don't think my bankroll is that thick. Like, my knot is getting pretty thick right now, but it's mostly due to the fact that I never brush my hair. And then I also don't wash it very often, and so it's getting knotted and nasty and just, eh, it's not so pleasant. Still, he does have some stuff that I want. What is that? An AS Val, a Heckler and Koch G36 versus that right there, which is better. The accuracy is way better on the Enfield, but the rate of fire, the handling, and the damage are better on the Heckler. Compared to that, how does it do? It's better in every way. Does it fire the same round, out of curiosity? 5.56 five, by 4.5, five. is that what I have right here? 5.56 five, by 4.5, okay. SS-109s. Is this SS-109? It's SS-109, okay, so we'll probably get rid of you then. Swap you out for one of those bad boys. I could probably pick one up for free somewhere else. That's the only thing that I ever truly worry about in this situation, is that like right after I buy one of these... That one does less damage, but everything else is the same. It's a noiseless, so it's a Vintar noiseless sniper rifle, or it's based on it, the AS Val. I don't know if that's worth the money. Eh, I'll do it. I mean, there's plenty of cash in the zone, so... All I gotta do is, like, go back and scoop up out of a million of these little anomalies and random artifacts. And we can make a fortune. I'll probably grab... 
How heavy is this compared to my other gun? 3.93 versus the other gun which we just got rid of, which is not in his inventory. So we don't really know. I might be packing up too much ammo right now, but I'd like to be safe rather than sorry. I will also take all of your band-aids and all of your med kits because I was wounded during that last mission. Okay, and so do you have any jobs? Let's see here. We've got eliminate the mercs and bandits in Rostock, kill the stalker. I'll take that, and then I'll take the other job, kill the bandits in Rostock. I don't know what that means. There's a gang of mercs not far away in Rostock. They hit it off with the bandits, so now they're scheming to block passage through the plant. I don't need to tell you what a pain in the ass it is, and it's not going to be resolved right away. The duty guys and some of the old-timers have already gone to teach them a lesson, but we haven't heard from in a while, so why don't you go check on the mercs? The money's good, too. It's not that good. It's 2500 It's all right. Yeah, we're too heavily loaded to continue. Always going on adventures and getting loaded. That's my name right now. Well, that considered. Probably drop all of those. We got the armor piercing rounds right there. Let me drop the monolith. Suit. There we go. I'll drop that for a moment because there's a guy over here that wanted the shotgun. Here's your rifle. Wow, you find it? I'm at a loss for words, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so grateful. You really helped you out here. You really did. God damn. Take this. It isn't much, but it's all I got. I won't forget your help, and I hope to repay you in time. Listen, I'll tell you something. There's a weird boarded-up house near the place you found my rifle. Nobody really knows what's inside of it, but you can see through the windows that there are anomalies there. Lots of them. There might be artifacts, too. I don't know how to get in, though. Okay. This guy wants me to destroy the lair of a bloodsucker. Sure, you ever run into a bloodsucker? Horrible thing, ain't it? Well, the other day I went to the village by the military warehouses and thought I'd look for some artifacts. Imagine this, suddenly I see a bloodsucker, black and with scars all over. He's sitting over a corpse and he doesn't see me. I freaked out and made a run for it. I shouldn't have started running, though, because he heard me and went after me and there was all this howling all around me and then I understood that he wasn't alone and I think they have a lair there. If you could chase him away, I'll give you a rare artifact that I found a couple days ago. Alright, sounds good to me. Where does that leave my weight at? What did he give me, by the way? BT dubs, what did we get out of this situation? He said that he gave us something, but I don't know what it was. I don't see any new artifacts down here. What did he give us? The suit's up under the desk right there. Alright, well how does that clear us out with regards to weight? Not by much. Did he give us the goldfish, maybe? I don't know what he gave to me. I have no concept of what I have received in this trade. Be too heavy to continue right there. It's got to be the ammo that's weighing me down then. I did buy a lot of ammo. I'm going to leave the monolith suit down here because we're not going to be using it anyways. We've got the ghost suit and then we've also got the, I don't know, remember what that one was called. But either way, it's like a military grade suit for badasses. So we'll hold on to it. What I'll do is I'll slide this on over here and I'm sure it won't go anywhere. We'll pick it up later. Or like in between episodes or something. There we go. And so now it's off to the races. What I want to do is we're going to go back to, I think, well, do I have any other quests that I need to turn in? Let me make sure that I haven't done everything that needs to be done. So we need to meet the guide. we got the perfected pistol, which is the G15 or whatever. The lair of the bloodsucker. Everything else looks like it's still, we had a meat chunk, but we don't anymore. What I would like to do is drop stuff off at, our, off at our stash, though, because I think we're carrying around too much stuff right now. And it would do us well if we could just eliminate some of the clutter in our inventory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run all the way back to garbage. We'll get that taken care of. Oh, this gun is the shiz. Okay, I'm going to go back to garbage and do this. I'll see you in a moment. What's up, guys and gals? Sorry about that. I made a little cut because I wanted to clear out my inventory. We're actually a lot more flighty now. We're not quite as weighed down, so that's pretty cool. I've got my secondary stash over here. You can see that we're only carrying around the H and K right now. We're going to use the G36, I think, for the remainder of until we find something better, I guess. But for right now, let's talk to Sidorovich and make sure that, like, have I turned anything in? Okay, so the perfective pistol. I'm not going to do the job. We'll turn that one down. Does he have any other jobs? He's got a sales representative. Sure, let's kill a sales representative. Okay, so that's the same guy, I think. Didn't we already do that quest? Does he recycle quests? I don't know. Does he get new loot? That's the other thing that I would question this about. This might have been pointless, but actually we had to come down here to talk with the guest anyways. Or the guide or the guest or something like that. Because if you don't talk to him, it messes up the storyline and you get a bad ending or something like that. So, why am I rocking a P99 right now? I'm rocking a P99 for a reason. I think that my brain is just addled at the moment. What is this shit? <laughs> you just got all gross. You changed your stance with me. I got a G36, dude. 
You don't want to take that posture with me. That's right. Sit back down. It's okay. I'll bring you some falafel or something next time I come in to make up for the fact that I didn't do that job. But yeah, here's our new gun. It's pretty sexy. I've been enjoying using it, but there's a guy over here we need to talk to, and there's also a stash. And I love stashes, so I think I'm going to try and figure out what's going on. So where is this stash at? I don't think the NVGs work very well. Then again, I haven't used real-life NVGs, so I don't know how great those work, but you would assume the definition would be better than this right here. I don't know. It doesn't look so great. It says there's a stash around here somewhere that we can make use of, but I'm not seeing it. It's more than likely up on the roof then, which means you have to do a whole bunch of, like, acrobatics and ridiculous circus stuff in order to get it. So, yeah, I really hate the NVGs. I think if they took a little bit of, like, the contrast, not even the contrast, a little bit of the brightness of the gamma out, I'd like them a little bit better. But as it stands right now, you're better off just kind of, like, using your normal view on this side, what's going on with this over here? FEMA Rocket. Our boss here wanted to see you, but that doesn't make you a welcome guest. Keep moving. So who am I talking to? It says there's somebody over here that I'm supposed to be friends with. Can you tell me something interesting? Let's head to camp. I'm sure you'll get your fill of local rumors here. Everybody who's new to the zone, the rookies like you, usually drops by to pick up some pointers or rest a while. There's soldiers posted just down the road. Don't be too afraid of them, but don't give them any shit either. They'll waste you and not think twice about it. Here by the trader, well, the retail of the local merchandise is a nice, calm little place where you can hang out. So what does this guy want? I gotta look at my map and figure out what the hell this dude wants. So we're down in Cordon right now. That's gonna be talk to the guy, but what does this dude want? This guy's getting a jam session on over on this side. So is this the guy we're supposed to be whacking? Let me get away from him because my little icon is blocking his body right now. Mine is overwhelming his. So imagine this. There's a nut job running around here who says he's a sales. Bottom line, I need a man to have a little chat with him no matter what it takes. Okay, well, if he separates himself from the group, I'm not trying to shoot a, like start a shootout in the middle of the entire base. It doesn't give a specific name either. I think it's this guy, but until he leaves this group, it's hard to tell. He doesn't look like everybody else, so... I think that's him. Because we've got three dots on the side right there. And I think if I put that guy down, we should be okay. Like, they shouldn't be too mad about it, I don't think. They should run around, and they should make a little bit of hubbub. But by and large, I don't think anything bad's going to happen when I do that. Let's see here. Our boss wanted to see you. Is that the same guy? See, so now who's shooting? Okay, so that guy over there is capping. Let's grab a gun real quick and see if we can lay him out. I actually don't need anything special for him. We could take him out with a little piece right here. There we go. I don't know who else is shooting now. We're out here making friends, obviously. Making them social connections. Oh, it's the guy with the male jacket. Why did he try and kill me? What the hell is wrong with Nimble? Either way, I had a feeling that, that might like bug out or make people do weird things. So why are you shooting me now? Is there a reason why you're shooting me? I'm a little bit concerned about this. Is everybody going to try and shoot me? Like, why is everybody mad right now? Are you guys okay with me? Are you going to shoot me too? You're not pointing guns at me, so I think that's a plus. I think that works out to my benefit. Still, I don't know why Nimble attacked me. I killed the guy for the quest. Maybe you're not allowed to do it in town or something? Let's just get the hell out of here before this escalates and becomes like a major problem for us. The only reason I came down here anyways was to talk to the guide so that we could get ourselves here. I'll give you guys a little bit of flashlight light, as it were, some flashlight I suppose. I could, you call it torchlight, I guess, if you wanted to make it a little bit more like European, continental, if you will. I don't know if some people would prefer that, but I can do it. I mean, I'm a man of many varying things that I can do for you. So, hey, you know, let me know. Oh, shit. We almost got blown up right there. That would have been unfortunate. That would have been really, really unfortunate, especially without our SIVA suit. So, where is this guy at? We're supposed to talk to the guide around here somewhere. Oh, he's off in that little area where we killed that first group of bandits. Okay, that works for me. Let's go back and have a talk with him. Oh, shit. There's a bloodsucker. Damn. Ooh, this gun is G'd out. Hell yeah. This is my gun right here. This is my gun. You don't even know me right now, bloodsucker. You see what happened? I have new armaments, and I am ready to unleash on you. I will get down in town. What's going on over here? And who are these dudes? Bunch of banditos. Turn off my flashlight.
Well, I don't want to waste ammo on them if they're just patrolling. I don't see any point in doing it either. Let's get back up inside of here. And where is this guy supposedly at? Oh, did he move? Where's the guy at? Oh, he's up north. Okay. I can deal with that. I just wanted to make sure that he wasn't in here all trapped by some bad dudes. It does look like we have a stash, so being the pack rat that I am, I'm going to check this. Turn off that stupid... That NVG effect just doesn't do it for me. I don't see anything in there except for a used up drink. Up top, though, it looks like we might have something. I don't know if you get, like, bonuses or, like, extra payouts or something at the end of the game for searching around for good stuff, but... Is it on the outside of the wall, maybe? Huh. I don't even know what we're looking for right there, but it looks like it's not here. Let's go talk to the guide. I thought that he's going to be over in this area, and I swear that's where it pinged him, but I guess I must have not been paying attention properly, or maybe he moves. It's possible that he walks around. A lot of the NPCs in this game, like, meander. They don't really stay stationary. Oh, we got flashlights over here. Ooh, they shooting. Okay. This time, I think y'all have made a very, very real mistake. Wouldn't recommend what you're doing right now. I have you vastly, vastly outshot. And I have you out armored too. This isn't like the engagement we had last time where you basically could stomp all over me and nothing would happen. Where I had to like essentially exploit mechanics in order to kill you. This time I am like a walking god of death. And you were upsetting me with your presence and so the military has now been expunged. They are no longer... Oh, there's one right there too. Woo! -hoo -hoo. This gun, I swear, I'm going to have to name this one. I name you Ziggy. This is the greatest gun ever. Ziggy's holding it down. He's making sure that when people try and unleash the brucka on me, I give them the old Zig when they should have zagged. Got a little bit of food right there, and I should probably take that because we haven't eaten anything in a long-ass time. And I think at some point, this is going to spiral out of control, and we're going to get hungry, knowing my human biological systems like I do. You can also use the potted meat and some of the other stuff to make ourselves feel better. I don't know if I should be picking up the AK-47 rounds or not. I do need to heal myself, though, so... We should have a slight amount of regeneration from our suit. Either that or... I don't know if it increases the efficiency of items that make me heal, or whether it itself heals me like that one medic suit that you get in Fallout, where it, like, talks shit the whole time while healing you. I like that suit. It was one of my favorites. It's probably one of my favorite subplots in the entire game, the suit that just, like, talks trash the entire time and heals you. So where's this guy at? He's up and off to the right, maybe near some campfires or something. Let's take a look here. Individual whom I need to talk to so I don't get a shitty ending. Where are you? And you're like, oh, I'm just to the north of you right now. Is he inside this little house over here? This little house of mine. I'm gonna let it shine because my flashlight. Put that gun away so I don't get grumpy with me. Oh, good, he's friends with our guy. Hello, brother. Guide, I need to see doctor. Well, look at that. How do you know about doctor? Ghost sent me. Help me get in touch with doctor. It's urgent. Well, why didn't you say so? Doctor is in Strelok's hiding place. If you are who you say you are, you probably know where it is. Thank you. Okay. Well, I guess that's that. I thought that maybe he'd give us a more clear-cut way to get around, but... Eh. This guy just asked me to go somewhere else. He said, could you go somewhere else? Imagine opening up a conversation with anybody, and they're like, Hey, man, could you just, like, go somewhere else right now? I can't look at you right now. I'm like, well, damn, I'm a little bit offended. Only a little bit, but still, there are a lot of stashes around here. Well, if there's a backpack over there, we do have some radiation coverage right now. Minus 20, in fact. If I get rid of... Minus 40 might be enough to where I could run in, grab the backpack, and then we could leave, but that's a really, really dangerous area over here. I don't know, we're going to have to zone transition again, and this time we're headed up to the north. I think that we do have some serious stuff to take care of, but for right now... See what happens with that minus 40... I don't think it's actually doing that much for me. We are in the yellow, though, and there's some of that stuff. Oh, wow. That wasn't really worth it, was it? Oh, well. We got plenty of radiation medication, so I don't tend to worry about it that much. We got like 500 of those things sitting around our stash. So the next quest that we want to do, let's have a look around here. I'm not going to come back for the... I guess I should come back for the road because I whacked a guy right there. Up in garbage, we have nothing going on. I'm just looking around for quests right now, in case you're wondering. I just want to make sure that, like, for the stuff that we have around... We have a couple people over here that want us to come back for the reward. We have a gang of mercs that are in raw stock that we need to handle. 
This must be raw stock, I guess. We also have a couple of stalkers that need to get whacked up in here in the army warehouses, which is good because we're heading up there anyways. And then our next quest is going to take us through the army warehouses, off to the side. They said that I needed to go talk to the duty guys, so I should probably do that too. I'll see when we get to the bar. Okay, so here we are at the bar. It really wasn't far, and given the fact that I radioed him before I came here, you could even say that we have raised the bar on the radio. Still, we need to talk to Duty, we need to talk to a couple people. We whacked a guy that I think we were supposed to whack anyways. I'm have to go back down and talk to Sidorovich later, but I don't feel like doing it right now. The pay wasn't that good anyways. We should also probably try and get our hands on a SIVA suit while we're out here. The game's gonna chunk a little bit going into the bar because it has to look for all the NPCs and whatnot. Don't worry about it, nothing serious is happening. If you're wondering which guy... There's a guy around here, he's got a SIVA suit on, that's how you know that his name is like the Shaman or whatever his name is, and you can actually loot him and he'll have super good stuff on him. What you got going on over here, any guys got loot on you? Are they still alive? What happened to the guys that were wandering around? There's always a group of duty guys that wander around over there, and I know duty guys is really not the best way. If your mercenary group is called the duty guys, mm, might not put much faith in you still. How many duty jokes am I going to get out of this series? I swear to God. So many duty jokes, that's how many. I like the fact that we regenerate endurance faster than we expend it right now. That makes me really happy when things allocate faster than they can be spent. I need to wander through here. There is an arena. We could go all in on that right now if we wanted to. So let me figure out. I need to center on me real quick. All the way up we go. So the guys we want are on this side street over here. Sometimes it can be hard to track them down simply based on the fact that, oh, they're inside the 100 rads. That's not so bad then. But why do I need to talk to these guys? So you there. I've got a job for him. Destroy the lair of the bloodsucker. Okay, he's got the bloodsucker's lair. He sent me out to do something else. And then this guy over here, I don't remember what he wanted. Kill the master stalker. That's what his job was. Okay, so they actually don't have anything for me right here. So I think the better course of action, where's this duty guy that I'm supposed to be talking to then? It said there's a guy I'm supposed to talk to. I guess we could go out to Rostock right now and just kind of like see what happens. We gotta wipe out a group of mercenaries anyways, so... Yeah, let's make a run out to Rostock, shall we? Well, this is actually a good spot to break off the episode. I'll go out to Rostock right now between episodes, but... My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode of Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. I look forward to seeing you all in future episodes. Hi to everybody, and I'll see you next time.